In January 2012, we began amassing information on women, reading obituaries, letters, and journals. That's what really interests me about these historical stories, is what they say about us as a people, as Americans, and how we evolve, and how we become aware, and um, sort of, I hope, improve, you know, become better people, more open, uh, more uh, tolerant. And so that's sort of, I mean, I'm not, I'm, I, I like the historical details, but I also like what, what I'm looking at when I see this is the, is the human drama. It was simply remarkable to be a part of a group of 12 women bringing to life the works and stories of women of the Northwest. Begin with a circle of women historians sharing their work and stories of their subjects, add the written works of those past women, and then seek the stories of individual women's lives and their memories of their mothers and grandmothers. What rose like a well-kneaded loaf were the patterns and places of all women common and celebrity, native and transplant, individual and family, and then watch that deep knowledge transform itself into a script and song as the ensemble came together, rehearsed, rewrote, and reworked. I couldn't help but imagine that the respect and dependence we developed for each other while creating this production was akin to the work of our historical women set on a task, working it out together and to see the audience night after night soaking it up, it was really something. I joined this production a week before the group went on tour to take the place of the two youngest actors who could not attend. It was a bit nerve wracking, having just a week to work everything out, but it was absolutely worth it. Everyone was so accepting and supportive. They really are a great group of women and fabulous actors. They work together so well and get along great. It was an honor working with them and it was a wonderful experience.